Today I'm going to show you guys how to get to Rabbit's Rise in Elden Ring. And really quickly, when you come to the jump spot, you have to use an item in order to activate said jump spot. And what you simply have to do is use Market's Shackle or Moog's Shackle. So you just pretty much hit the ground like this with the shackle and it'll activate the updraft. This works on all the updrafts in the DLC. So that pretty much is a one size fits all for when you have to do the other ones as well. And you just use this updraft to get to the stairs here. And now you're at Rabbit's Rise. I won't spoil what's in there. And that's how you figure out the puzzle. Now, where to get the two shackles? To get Moog's shackle, I'd recommend going to the Lendil Catacombs side of grace and then you go up the stairs to where the two crayfish are you'll find it right next to the entrance pretty much so there should be a body over here and you just pick it up over here for Margaret's shackle you have to go to murk water cave and buy the item from patches if you've killed patches by accident then you can just get it from the shop at the round table Unfortunately, I killed Patches in my playthrough, so I had to take his bell bearing to the round table. And there I'm able to buy his items. You just have to go to the Twin Maiden Heads, give them Patches bell bearing, and she will sell the item for 5,000 runes. If you haven't already used this item in your main playthrough, then I would highly recommend it for future playthroughs. It's an item that's specifically made to shackle Margaret to the ground during the fight. It's fantastic. So why do these shackles work like this? The shackles work like this because they do a zero damage pulse into the area, which pretty much destroys all these objects without doing any damage to enemies. And you could use them to find secret walls when you're in catacombs or tunnels, for example. And you can also use it to activate traps. For example, fire traps that you have to normally hit with your sword. So I hope this was useful for you because you could use this a lot in the DLC. Make sure you always have at least one of the shackles in your quick bar at all times. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope I covered everything for you today. And best of luck with Rabbit's Rise and in general with the Elden Ring DLC. Enjoy the rest of your day.